All right, guys, welcome back to your third React.js tutorial. My name is Mehul, and in this one, let's just go over through what the hell is going on in this app.js file alone. So for now, let's just consider, let's just forget about everything else going on in this file structure, and let's just consider this particular file, app.js. So what's going on in this file is basically we are rendering this file somehow on this browser. Now, how we are doing that is we are making use of something known, known as JSX. Now, JSX is basically writing HTML in JavaScript, JavaScript extensible. So what we do with React is basically we work in the following manner. We write whatever we write, whatever the UI is inside the JavaScript file itself. So the JS file consists of UI plus logic, right? And you know, you can just separate, separate out the CSS file, but you can also have JS plus CSS as well. So you can actually write CSS within your JavaScript files. So the deal with um, React is basically that you can write pretty much everything in your JavaScript file itself. Now, this might seem not the best option when you first look at it. It might really seem like, well, it's cluttered and everything. And why won't you just keep HTML separate from JavaScript and app logic like Angular does and so on and so forth. But trust me, when you get the hang of React, when you get the hang of how React works, it really, really makes sense. And it really, really makes your life much, much easy to work with. So. What we're going to do is um, we're just going to stick with this particular thing. And with JSX, you just have to remember that all your um, attributes which had a dash in between are now camel cased. And your class attribute is just changed to class name because class is a reserved keyword in JavaScript. So you cannot make use of this class. And other than that, pretty much a lot of things are same compared to HTML. So once we have that in place, what we have is a simple running React application, right? So that would be all for this video. In the next one, we'll be discussing the file structure. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you then in the next one real quick.